Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to Inklings with Irina, the weekly energy show connecting you to your intuitive guidance system. And I am so excited to bring you on this adventure with me. This was completely unexpected. And this is what I love about working in the land of inklings and intuitive hits and little nudgings and prompts. Life happens and we can get frustrated and we can let it knock us down or what we can do is say all right there's something else going on here that i'm meant to be aware of i've got all these beautiful wildflowers around me um, just absolutely gorgeous and of course a beautiful bridge behind me that's our little prototype for the brooklyn bridge here and i am going to turn around oh and holy cannoli it's the first wednesday of the month so you'll get to hear the sirens they're doing the practice run but here is a labyrinth oh my goodness have you guys ever walked a labyrinth before this is an extremely powerful sacred practice that is one of my favorite go-to's when I'm looking for an answer and it just doesn't seem to be bubbling to the surface especially if I'm feeling disconnected and I feel like my prayers um, are not so much prayers but my pleas for help are falling on deaf ears so if we haven't met my name is Irina Miller I'm an intuitive energy guide and it is my complete joy to bring this intuitive world to you and these sacred practices I really see myself as an energy alchemist bringing together over two decades of sacred practices from yoga and Reiki and cards and crystals all to you to help you on your journey so I want to talk about the labyrinth and why it's such a powerful practice and I've got all these beautiful butterflies floating around I hope you see them in the background but labyrinth you can if you don't have a beautiful labyrinth in your city or town maybe um, well there are other ways and I have one so drop me a little heart emoji if you're curious and you would like a labyrinth practice I have one that I love to share with my clients that is you kind of walk with your fingers rather than your feet but the practice of a labyrinth what you do is you'll see the entrance right here and what makes a labyrinth different than a maze is that there's one way in and one way out and before you begin the practice I really encourage you to take time to set an intention if there's a question that you're seeking an answer to if you're feeling frustrated like oh my gosh everything I've been trying isn't working I'm trying to grow my business or I'm trying to make connections with other people or I'm trying to get this project up and off the ground and it just isn't working what do I do next and you feel like there's silence you feel this disconnect you feel this separateness and you start to sink into the sadness well movement is one of the best ways to get big emotions and energy up and out of the body so moving a moving meditation meditation doesn't always have to be sitting with lotus position and fingers in jinn mudra but you really have the opportunity when you come to a labyrinth to take the time before you go into it to set an intention what is your question what are you searching for and then as you ask that question you leave it at the doorway so to speak sometimes I like to have a practice of picking up a rock and just placing it right there at the beginning of the entrance and the significance of that is that I'm letting go of the worry I'm letting go of the attachment to the answer and I'm opening myself to simply listening because as you start to walk the labyrinth what you discover is that you get really close to that center point like right from the very beginning the entrance takes you right to that center point and you're like all right the answer is right there right in front of me and then all of a sudden you're brought towards the outer edges and you get farther away from the answer and you're like wait but I thought that was the right track to go and then you get brought back into it it's this weaving it's very much this spiral spiraling undulating motion and what we discover as we walk the path is we have aha moments if we're listening and we have these moments of recognizing it's not a linear path if I do a I'm not always gonna get to point B one plus one doesn't always equal two, which seems like an odd thing to say but in the world of intuition it's so incredibly different um, we're working in the land of miracles I always say um, as much as I have a degree in logic decision sciences and management information systems I really really um, rely on miracles <laughs> um, I believe in miracles most definitely and the labyrinth helps you so set the intention at the doorway so to speak open yourself to the movement to the rhythm of the labyrinth and I really encourage you to simply move breathe 
and listen or breathe, move and listen. I love those little acronyms like BML. It just reminds you when you step foot into that labyrinth, you're not worried about the answer because it's gonna come, you know it will. And the closer you get to the center, the closer you get to that connection once again with source and you pause in the center. And if you have a moment to meditate there, I encourage you just to listen to your breath. Listen, what comes? And then walking your way back out the way you came in. And what happens is as you come back out, you notice that the rock doesn't feel as heavy to pick up again, or you can leave it there. The worries are much lighter and the answers, they come. So I invite you, if you don't have a labyrinth in your town or city to walk, then definitely drop me the heart emoji. I'll make sure that you get a labyrinth that you can walk at home. And thanks for joining me live. It's wonderful to have you, Christine. This is a beautiful space. We're so blessed to have this in our city. Um, so I'm gonna go walk the labyrinth. Thanks for joining me. And uh, as I walk, um, I'll take a video and I'll share that too a little bit later on. All right, so much love to you guys. If you are looking for a place to come and speak intuitive language, then come on over and hang out with me some more. Click the link and my energy bot will take care of you. All right, lots of love and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye guys.